All right, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, for, for yeah, we got that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Want to get both guys in there? Yeah. 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 Just slide this way a tiny bit. All right. I didn't know I was going to be up here all by myself. I thought that Eric was going to it is. Can you be in charge. <clears throat> all right. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Thanks to the families for being here. Thanks to these two guys for being here. We appreciate that. Our two uh, new Ravens. And I can tell you, it's an honor and a privilege and very excited to announce these, these two uh, young men to become the latest additions to our team and be our teammates. Had a chance to go back and watch the tape on both guys, uh, both Kyle and both Tyler, and uh, spent about two hours on each guy this morning. Now I've seen all the plays already, but before I was looking at you guys as potential Ravens, as draft picks. Now I was looking at them as Ravens, and you start visualizing all the things that we're going to be able to do. So you fit our personality. They both fit our personality. Kyle's a a, a, a very a multi-purpose type player. He can play deep half. He can play deep in the middle. He can come down and play dime. He can play nickel. Uh, he plays man coverage, he plays zone coverage, and he tackles people, and he blitzes. And we're going to get him the first sack of his career here before long, right? First ever. First ever. And then Tyler is, uh, is uh, you know, you hate, to, you hate to put too much pressure on you, but I think in college, the best linebacker we've seen in many, many years. And Eric mentioned that last night. And it's uh, just the fact that we, when we talked earlier about what we're looking for in offensive linemen, you can talk about all the traits, but the bottom line is do they block people? And this is a center who blocks people all the time play after play uh, in, in many times a dominant fashion. And he's got all the other traits. Both come from amazing families, amazing parents, amazing brothers and sisters, amazing girlfriends. We appreciate you guys being here and, uh, and welcome. So we'll open up to any questions uh, and uh, you guys can say any kind of statement you want. Why don't we start right here with Todd? Yeah, I just want to first off thank my family for coming with me. Um, without these guys, it, this wouldn't be possible. Uh, mom, dad, brother, girlfriend. Um, yeah, I'm excited to be a Raven. Um, you know, all the close people that I talk to when I ask about this organization, you know, they say it's one of the best in the NFL and it's the best in the NFL. So I'm excited to join this organization and uh, to be around such great people. Um, I'm looking forward to the opportunity. Uh, yeah, I just want to first start off by thanking family who's here. Mom, Jackie, brother, Tyler, dad, Derek, girlfriend, Reese. Um, yeah, same thing with a great organization. And, I um, was just talking to the coach earlier about how we'll look back 10 years later and um, realize it was the perfect fit and everything happened for the right reasons and uh, uh, selfishly a great defensive organization and um, has produced some pretty good uh, players. There's a, a safety that was pretty good and then a linebacker that was pretty good, I think. So um, hopefully I can just add to that and um, fill those shoes. I have a question, John. John, uh, with Tyler coming from a zone, you know, zones concept heavy offensive Iowa. Do you guys envision that becoming more part of your repertoire this year, just given the strength there? Well, we run everything. You know, we run, as you know, Jonas, we run every scheme that there is. And 
Um, they run every scheme that there is. They've run plenty of gap schemes, plenty, plenty of lead schemes, uh, lots of lots of polls, lots of lots of screens. You know, these are all things that when you we have a center that's very athletic, you can do those things. But he's not just an athletic center; he's a physical center. So when you get the gaps, the gap scheme back blocks that you're talking about, he holds up and he's moving people on those blocks. So we're confident he can do any kind of any kind of block we need. Tyler, given the fact that you come from Iowa, which is a school that's produced a, a pretty special player here in Marshall Yonda, do you have any relationship with him? Because I know he is close uh, with the head coach there and the, the program. And John, did you talk to Marsh or to Marshall at all about Tyler at any point over the last few months? Yeah, um, I've been in contact with um, obviously, obviously Marshall Yonda, um, a great guy. He's someone who's uh, been in the facility working out with us when he was playing here. Uh, just kind of seeing his work ethic as a young guy, it's like that's a guy who you want to be like. Um, he's an all pro uh, offensive lineman and you know that's someone you, who you want to be. And then also just thinking about uh, this organization, like Coach Ference, um, back in the day he was here, um, and then Marshall Yonda. So we've had two Hawkeyes that are very su successful here and you know, uh, just try to get on that path, the same path as them. Marshall visited us, and, uh, so I didn't have to call him because when he visited, he was volunteering information. And he couldn't, he couldn't talk enough about, about his guy. Kyle, a lot of people were surprised that you slipped down the board to the Ravens. As you saw the draft unfolding, I'm sure you were a little disappointed that you didn't go in the top 10, but did it make you feel better that you did fall to the Ravens and their defense? Yeah, and that's kind of what I was just saying, like looking back on it. Um, I mean, it may feel or seem like a big deal now, but I mean, I think I fell into the perfect place, perfect situation. And um, honestly, it's, it's a blessing. And um, I'm just excited to be here. For both of you leading up to the draft, what were the conversations like with the Ravens? Did you think this could be a strong possibility or were you kind of surprised on drafting it? Uh, I, th I thought it could. Um, I mean, you never know going to the draft. There's a lot of questions. And um, uh, they were answered last night. And uh, obviously, I'm here. So uh, Baltimore is interested. I'm obviously uh, excited to be here and have the opportunity to play for a franchise that's one of the best in the league and has been that way since I can remember. Yeah, um, I thought it was a possibility as well. Um, you know, I met with them at the Combine. I thought the meeting went well. And just kind of the feel in the room, like I thought it was definitely a place that I could fit in well. And then obviously having the connections that we did uh, with Marshall, Marshall Yonda here. And then, you know, also this is just a great organization and this is a place that I want to be and I want to play football here. So I'm excited. Uh, Kyle, uh, on uh, social media, uh, I, I think after you were selected, you did the, the handshake. Uh, yes. <laughs> what, can you, is there a story behind uh, this elaborate handshake? Um, so my girlfriend and I, Reese, um, Reese Dom, we started dating sophomore year of high school, and I think we came up with the handshake junior year or so, something like that. And so um, we've just been doing it ever since, and we just decided to uh, seem like the right the right time to do it. And I guess everybody else agreed, and she's she's kind of famous now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, everybody knows that the Ravens like to run the football. When you were looking at teams, how much did you sort of identify with the way they play offense and feel like that fit what you like to do well? Yeah, uh, you know, especially a team that likes to run the ball, you got to be a tough, gritty team, uh, physical at the point of attack. And that's something that I think I do a, a good job at. Um, so, yeah, once I get here, you know, I'm excited to get around the guys. You know, they got a great group of guys here. Um, I'm ready to get around them and then, you know, just show them what I can do to help out this team and to win football games. For both of you guys, having played at the highest level of college football, what do you anticipate the challenge is to now play at the professional level? What, what's going to be different? What do you feel like you got to do? Um, I would say even at the highest level of college football, the talent and um, the caliber of players, obviously not up to par with the NFL. Every week you're going against freak athletes and the smartest guys that you'll ever play against. <clears throat> ever play against, excuse me. But it just requ requires you to study that much more, work that much harder, because we're here for a reason, too. Um, Ravens drafted us for a reason, because they feel like we can uh, compete and be better than these guys that we're competing against. So um, it builds confidence playing at a high level like that. But we know that coming in, it's going to just be a full reset. Yeah, along with that, you know, you're going against the best of the best. So, you know, every time you step out on that field, you got to bring it. 
um, you know, that's the kind of mentality you got to bring to it. Well, your, your dad was a professional athlete. I mean, you come from a family full of high level athletes. How much did that help you prepare to do this? I think it helped a lot. Um, just from a young age, seeing professional athletes, just the way they work and how diligently and um, focused they were and detailed. And I just became accustomed to it and just felt normal, normal to me um, throughout middle and high school. And that's honestly how I learned to work. And I think I brought that with me throughout college. Um, I, I got the sense that I get the opportunity to go play football and go to practice and go to early morning lifts rather than I have to do all those things. And um, growing up in a household that was around professional athletes, I think, helped me a lot with that. Uh, there's a lot of pre-draft talk about your size. What, did, what was your take on all that, and how eager are you to show people that it doesn't matter, you're plenty powerful enough, big enough to, to handle your own in there? Yeah, I mean, you know, once I, I knew right when I declared for the NFL draft, like, someone's going to find something bad about me. Um, you know, and that was, that was the size. So, but at the end of the day, it's how you go out on the field and how you play football. Um, you know, play to your strengths, and that's what I think I do well. So, you know, everyone has opinions, and that's their opinions, but I know I can play football. Tyler, it seems like you played just about every sport there was in, in high school, reading back your background. Do you think that sort of contributed to you being the all-around athlete that, you know, all the scouts would talk about when they talked about how you played center? Yeah, I definitely think it's, it helps. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a competitive person. I think doing all those sports uh, helped develop that. You know, I think the more sport, my mentality, the more sports you did in high school, you know, I think the better athlete, all-around athlete you're going to be, so. Kyle, I mean, from the Ravens standpoint, you know, when, once you got out of the top 10, I'm thinking they're going, you know, fall to us, fall to us, they're getting excited. From your vantage point, though, when you get out of the top 10, is it a stressful situation? Because I know you're maybe getting, hoping to get a little draft a little early. Is it a stressful situation once you go beyond, like, maybe the top 10 and that, things like that? Um, yeah, I would say it's, it was definitely stressful. And, not just because of that reason solely. I mean, the whole process in itself is stressful. Um, and Tyler knows that, everybody knows that. It's, you're being talked about, you're being um, dived deep into throughout your whole background, whole whatever mistakes that you've ever made, and everybody's gonna try to shine a light on them. And it's a stressful process, and especially in that one moment um, where, yeah, I do get past a certain point in the draft, but like I was saying earlier, it's, it's a silver lining that I'm here now, and I, it's the best thing that could have possibly happened. John, uh, I mean, Tyler role as the center is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, Kyle, as safety, you guys are pretty loaded in that department. What do you kind of, have you thought about his role so far? Yes, quite a bit, and uh, excited about it because, you know, we have we do. We have good players. You know, we've got Chuck Clark. Chuck's been here for long time. He's, he's one of our best players on defense. He's, he wore the green dot. You know, he's a leader. He's a play caller. And, and I know Kyle's excited to work with Chuck and learn from him. And then you know, we just signed Marcus Williams. He's one of the, one of the best safeties in football. And uh, he's got his unique style. And Kyle will learn from him, too. And they'll, they'll feed off each other and play with each other. Create some versatility, some flexibility for Brandon Stevens, you know, so he can still continue to play safety and play a nickel role for us. He can maybe play some corner as well, and he's a very versatile player. And then you've got young guys like Gino. You know, Gino's in there doing well. And then don't forget Tony Jefferson. You know, Tony Jefferson brings a lot of unique abilities too. So all of those guys are really uh, versatile football players. And uh, so the ability, to, as I said before, you play free. We talked about it just now. We're talking about playing free safety, playing strong safety, playing nickel, playing dime. And every now and then you're going to find yourself in the mic position, you know, by alignment, by matchup. So all those guys are going to play those spots, and, and that's exactly what we want. John, do you have to follow up with that? You know, I asked you yesterday about the three safety alignments. Could you could you see this defense using four safeties, including Brandon? <laughs> hey, why not? You know, we'll just get, come up with a new personnel group. Mike, you here? Where you at, Mike? We will come up with something like that, you know. And I just think it speaks to, you know, that's what you want as a coach. And, you know, it speaks to our scouts. Our scouts do a great job of studying these guys, led by, you know, Joe with all the college scouts, and then watching Eric work worked the draft yesterday in the first round and the way it was going and it didn't go the way we expected. I'll be honest, we had we had a conversation a couple of weeks ago here and I was just joking. It's like I'm like, what are you doing here? You know, I don't even know what you're doing here. You know, it's nice to meet you. Glad we get a chance to talk, you know. You know, we might you, you go to the same school as my daughter. Did you know that? You know? And uh, he didn't. Uh, but uh, it was uh, it was just fun because I just didn't think this chance was really gonna happen. And then here we sit because, you know, we make our plans and then God laughs, right? right. And and that's that's what's beautiful about it. So but then watching Eric, you know, the poise he had, he saw it coming, the trades he made, 
moving, you know, getting, you know, adding, adding, moving back and the different opportunities that we had and the possibilities that would come up and then to come out of it with this result, with these two guys, uh, the kind of guys that I think fits Eric's personality, just, just good, tough, hard-nosed, uh, determined, gritty, smart people, you know, come from great families. And that was something that was meaningful to us. And I uh, congratulate Eric and the staff because this thing was a great job. Yeah, John, you were just alluding to it a little bit. I mean, obviously you're looking for the best players and you got the best players in the position. But how much of a factor is culture and getting guys that are going to be able to not only adapt to it, but like be a part of that? Yeah, it's real. I mean, you know, we like tough guys. You know, we like guys that like football. You know, it's, it's an advantage when you have guys that uh, are willing to work and, and understand the value of work and you can are smart and you can have a conversation with them and, and you can talk about things that are a little – a little deeper sometimes, you know, and you can put some schemes in that are a little more complex. But it really comes down to good people that want to work hard and keep it simple and keep it about football. Let's come to work every day. Let's keep it simple. Let's let's love football. Let's have fun with each other. Let's be good guys. Let's be tough guys, you know, kind of guys. It's a tough league, you know, and it's, it's football is uh, it's fun in a different kind of way, right? It's not roller coaster fun, all right? It's football fun. And guys that appreciate that is something that is really valuable to us. Tyler, I'm sure you've seen plenty of highlights of Lamar Jackson, but have you thought about how his versatility and his unique skill set will impact your job? Yeah, I mean, my job is to protect him. Um, you know, I'm excited to get that opportunity. Um, you know, every every snap, every down, I'm going to have to bring it because uh, obviously it's a tough league. Um, you know, every guy across me is going to be tough, but, you know, just the mentality I'm going to bring, um, just, you know, that gritty, toughness, physical. I'm going to bring it just to protect him and keep him safe. Hey, John, you've used multiple centers in the time that Lamar's been the quarterback. Is there anything specific in terms of challenges or differences with that type of quarterback and offense for a center? You know, the biggest thing, that's a great question, Mark. And I think the biggest thing is the ability to sustain a block, especially in pass protection, because Mark can, Lamar can extend a play like no other. And when Lamar is given the opportunity to extend the play, Lamar can make a play on time, of course, but when he can extend the play, it's just electric. And that to me is one of, that's, that's kind of his brilliance. And that's when the field opens up for him in a lot of different ways. And I think Lamar, you know, Lamar's going to appreciate his ability to, to, to sustain a block and extend the play. And then just with that, you know, like look at the other guys in our offensive line, Pat McCarry, okay? Pat's the most versatile player, probably the most versatile offensive line in the league, maybe, play all five positions. So Pat will be in the mix there, too, at the left guard spot, really across the board. So to have those kind of players just means a lot. You too, well, yes. Kyle, uh, sorry, Kyle, I saw uh, Ronnie Stanley you know, welcome you to the facility outside there. Did you guys have much relationship? Um, I know you guys didn't overlap in their game, but what has it told you about the Ravens and I guess what to expect here? We actually um, were training at the same facility um, this spring. So got to meet him for the first time, um, really get to know him. He's a great dude. Um, obviously, he was rehabbing his, his um, foot or ankle. Not sure which one it was, but um, he was just letting me know it's it's work. It's hard work, and um, I knew that. But he was just emphasizing that it's it's going to take work. It's not nothing's going to be handed to you. And I appreciated the honesty, and um, honest, I'm excited to come in and just gain respect um, at this level. That's a really important thing. It's just gaining older guys' respect, um, coaches' respect, even guys within your classes' respect. And um, I'm excited to do that. Perfect. Tyler, can you talk about your wrestling background specifically and how that helps you? And then can you shed some light on your wrestling match uh, with Kristen Works? <laughs> yeah, you know, I think wrestling is one of the toughest sports you can do. Uh, it's you against another guy. You know, it's not like any other sport to where you have teammates, you can kind of rely on them. You go out there, it's either you win or you lose. And everyone knows if you get your butt kicked or if you don't get your butt kicked. So that's what you got to love about wrestling. <laughs> And then obviously the match with Worse, um, you know, we were rival opponents and, you know, I faced him quite a bit. I couldn't get the job done. Um, you know, I'm just happy I got that final match against him. But, you know, he's been a, a great teammate of mine um, over the years at Iowa and he's, you know, a tremendous football player. Um, but, yeah, just having the opportunity to beat him was, was special. All right, thanks, Joe. Thank you.